Hi there, Sign of Pisces. This is Kim with your reading. Hope you're doing good out there. Thanks for joining me. We're going to see what messages, uh, calling all angels here, what messages want to get through to you. And lighting some Palo Santo. And I imagine that divine white light that's going through your chakras, grounding you, also going up to the sky. <clears throat> What messages do you have for Pisces friends today? Something you've prayed for. This message is please for Pisces. Messages for Pisces. Uncreated. That's a really good card to get. The uncreated with the blue topaz. Um, anything is possible. Absolutely anything is possible from that place. It's almost like being in a different universe. Um, whatever you're creating, it's never been done before. You have, oh, this is an enormous potential. Wow. And you have a lot of like energy behind it, magnetism behind something that you're creating. There's um, with the iron card, there's like a pull from your energy or pull that others feel to your energy or the energy around what it is that you're gonna create. But as I said, it's uncreated at this time. This is talking about something new that you can do with your magnetism, with how you attract. Wow something that's part of your life purpose jeez seeing past the smoke um so there's this magnetism okay there's this magnetism there's something that is uncreated at this time there's also the energy of whatever it is that needs to be expelled or that is being expelled currently whether that's slowly step by step or it's something that's going to be expelled like at one time represented by the sulfur something that is up and out of your system of your orbit of your body like detoxing on any level <laughs> or all levels with the sulfur but there's a lot of healing too as you know people take sulfur baths um <clears throat> The Raven's Head card comes out because it's part of your life purpose. There's part of your life purpose that's attached to what is uncreated at this time. You could really be feeling a pull of something um, leaving you as other areas of your body are getting lit up or chakras are getting lit up. Hmm. Interesting. The raven's head says that, I mean, basically you have the knowledge here. Hidden knowledge. Knowledge um, gained through wisdom now, experience, as in the pearl. Yeah, there's many options. Let's get another deck for you here. What else do you have for Pisces? The cross. Sacrifice. Down for the cause. Release. Let go. Giving up. Surrender. Putting others first. For the greater good. Dogma. Heroic effort. Purpose driven. Which is the raven's head. Purpose driven. This, ha this cross card has to do with your purpose. Something to do with your purpose. Okay, I have cake. <clears throat> I have this six. Telephone, connection, communication. So until something gets moved up and out, it's, it's being, there's something that is being that is unchanged at this moment. 
So it says the situation is stable, unlikely to change. But you're still being pulled to move something out. So I'm going to um, get clarification on what exactly it's telling you to move up and out of your life. Um, the cake card, celebration, ceremony, party, gathering with friends and family. Remember. Remember. Members of your soul tribe, your soul family, like a remembrance. What needs to go up and out? What are you talking about with the sulfur card? What are you trying to tell them with the sulfur card? A few things. Wow, I have the rings here. So contracts changing, partnerships changing. That can be representing marriage and relationships changing. Rings. Contracts, agreements, bonds, strong connections, unions, partner, counterpart, lovers, telepathy, interconnected, and a soulmate. I guess I feel like you haven't met this soulmate yet, or this, or or integrated, or create, or decided to create something with a soulmate. Is something you have to think about um okay so the i have the nine with cancer energy rainbow which granted serendipity blessing patience pays off abundance hope good luck manifesting wealth prosperity and perfect timing oh wow the symphony cards coming out that's interesting Harmony, synergy, co-create, a team, collaborate, contribute, organization to lead others. Yeah, and I think in between this, there's some kind of break to detox mind, body, spirit with this um, balance, partnerships, balance, timeout, reflection, leaper energy, hammock, rest, relax, time off, pause, suspend, sleep. Supported, meditate, inactive, waiting or suspended between two things. In limbo, it also has self-actualization there, which probably has a lot to do with soul purpose, too. Hmm. Still. The still. Develops over time. Spirits. Alcohol. Reduction. Reduction. By taking or extracting what you don't need. <clears throat> okay, so it looks like there's like um, a divine counterpart that wants to come in and create with you as there are still some things moving out of your life at this time something that has been unchanged though tell me about that what about this unchanged it's literally saying let's focus on other things <laughs> it's literally saying that um we have the gift the gift it's the card that has the gift with two hands on it. Um, with the celebration, a wedding, a coming together. It's a gift from the universe. It's a, a relationship, a soul bond that comes in because you're feeling highly magnetic, highly attractive. And spirit is wanting to give you a gift after all this time of um, something being unchanged for a while or feeling kind of stagnant. And so the gift is coming in celebration and cake energy, awards, birthday. It's coming in the form of a, of a relationship that can't get any more clear, courtship. Somebody wants to get to know you. Yep, lovers, part of your life purpose, your plan is this crossroads. Oh goodness, sudden wealth on the bottom. And um, it involves you and another person. Is like what I know about this. It's divine. It's divine counterpart. It's divinely orchestrated. 
you take it or leave it type of energy is what I'm getting. It's you're either going to take it or leave it. Take time out to think. But if you need a confirmation that you, this is a gift or what you feel for somebody else is a gift, then there's your confirmation for that. I'm going to pull from the Oracle of Genetic Gifts and your angel numbers, and I'm going to kind of wrap it up on that one, on that note. It's a really good reading. You've got love, the lovers and courtship. I suspect this is what is uncreated at this time. It's part of your life purpose, part of your life plan. Ascension number one, earth DNA cell structure change. And master number 33, the master teacher ruling planet Neptune. Let's say there's something about a prayer uh, being answered too. Diamond child born between 2010, 2011. Maternal side, spiritual gifts, wisdom, inheritance by the mother's line, youth director, spiritual support, educate, lead by example, and volunteer. And on the bottom, they also have alpha generation indigo child born between 1958 and 1968. The, those other messages, you know, are uh, just to let you know the dates, like, but it may be saying pay attention to that indigo child word and uh, look it up if you need to find out like what gifts or characteristics come with that this one wanted to stay on the table after you know when I picked up my deck so I think it's for you too it's the psychic detective postcognition psychometry telepathy and dowsing oh number three charismatic that's what I think with this iron card yeah, expression comes naturally to you. You are very skilled at communicating your thoughts through creative pursuits. Able to get others on board with your ideas. I am charismatic. And four, you're sending. And four, 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 four. You bring stability and rationality to any situation. You are the rock and your hard work and perseve perseverance make you a dependable friend, partner, and colleague. I am stable. This is what I've got for you. And I'm intelligent was on the bottom of the deck. So, of course, you're intelligent, too. So, I'm sending you much love. Thanks, Pisces. If you need a private reading, that's in the description box below.